That's the best kind of person who doesn't even want any credit. I know. Right? Yep. Well, all I keep hearing right now is Bonnie Tyler. <laughs> all right, we just lost everyone born after uh, 1970. That's um, not true. You were born in not long after that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> we're talking a total eclipse of the heart is yeah. what Russ was uh, referring to. Uh, but a few weeks ago, we had a lunar eclipse. This Thursday morning, we have a brief opportunity to see a solar eclipse. Now, it's not going to be as cool as the total solar eclipse a few years ago. This is an annular solar eclipse called that because the sun's a little farther away and it doesn't completely cover up the sun, but it covers it up enough where it's still going to be pretty cool. There's a lot of buts to this one, though. Number one, you're going to have to get up early Thursday morning. You're going to have to be unobstructive low to the northeast horizon, and we're going to have to cross our fingers that there's no clouds. For us here in central North Carolina, we're going to be able to see about 30% of the moon covering the sun. It's going to be a tight window because the sun comes up about 6 a.m. So the sun's obviously got to be up for us to see the eclipse, but the eclipse ends 25 minutes later. So between 6 a.m. and 625, find a spot Thursday morning where you can see low on the northeast horizon. We've got a solar eclipse happening. We'll talk